Hello, bienvenidos, welcome to Forecast from Flagstaff. My name is Danny Donaldson and I serve as Director of Admissions here at NAU. And I'm joined by my colleague, Annika Olson, and I serve as the Vice President for Enrollment Management here at Northern Arizona University. Although we're not here at Northern Arizona University, we're just north of campus in the famous Lowell Observatory and are specifically in the Clark Telescope Dome. So if you're anywhere in Flagstaff and look up towards the appropriately named Mars Hill, you will see a white dome. And Danny and I are filming this evening from that dome. The Clark Telescope is 125 years old and is a 24 inch refractor telescope. And a little later in the show, we are gonna be hearing from Lowell's historian and PIO, Kevin Schindler, to share a little bit more. But one of the most interesting facts about Lowell, in my opinion, that we often share with incoming families and students is that the observatory was key in naming Flagstaff as the first international dark sky city. That happened in 2001, but way back in 19, let me check my date, 58, the observatory started advocating and urging the Flagstaff City Council to create a light ordinance, which was the first of its kind. And so we are so thrilled to be filming here. We're gonna be learning a little bit more about why you as a new Lumberjack family and student should come visit Lowell and a little bit more about its mission and how we partner as an institution. But of course, it wouldn't be a forecast without Danny sharing our upcoming forecast. Danny, take it away. Of course, we can't do the weather without talking about, rather, we can't do the forecast without talking about the weather. So, as you can see there on your screens, typical highs and lows for this time of year. Um, definitely encourage folks as you are considering what to pack, getting ready for move in day, to pack those sweatshirts and sweaters because it does drop to lower temperatures due to us being at a 7,000 foot elevation. So some gorgeous weather as we look to head into the weekend. So as Annika mentioned, we're here at Lowell Observatory, one of the best places to check out while you are here in Flagstaff. Um, but we also want families and students to know about places that you can explore around Northern Arizona. So we're gonna toss things over to Claire to talk to us a little bit about Oak Creek Canyon. Hi, my name is Claire and I'm a True Blue Ambassador and today we're at Oak Creek Canyon, one of my favorite places located just southwest of Flagstaff. There are a lot of fun things to do here from the scenic views to hiking, camping and swimming and a pro tip for NAU students would be to purchase an annual Red Rocks Pass which will help you gain access to Sedona, Oak Creek Canyon as well as surrounding areas on a yearly basis. Welcome back. This time last year, we had a chance to sit down with NAU President Dr. Cruz Rivera, and we are so glad to have a chance to connect with you again today. Welcome back to the forecast from Flagstaff. Glad to be here. Great. Dr. Cruz Rivera, looking back on your first year here at NAU, what stands out as one of your most memorable experiences or highlights for the year? It's always important to recognize that when you look at the academic calendar, it is commencement. When you see thousands of students and their families and friends come together to celebrate a journey of transformation, a journey that is facilitated by higher education, the promise that it has to not only uplift lives, but also impact uh, communities. And so every year, and it was true this year, I very much look forward to commencement. And we had one of our largest ever graduating classes this past spring, and we pretty much um, put out into the world over 5,000 new lumberjacks who will be doing much to make this a better place. Over 5,000 new lumberjacks is certainly an impact on, on communities around the nation, around the world. As we look to your sophomore year here at NAU, um, you've set our university on a new charter that refocuses the university to be a leading engine of economic uh, mobility and social impact, really ensuring that students are getting lifelong value from their degrees. Tell us a little bit more about that vision. Well, the vision is really an attempt to 
deal head on with something that we're seeing nationally, which is the questioning of the value of higher education. The reality is, as we all know, that higher education is the one thing that no one can take away from you. It's the one thing that will really allow you to not only prosper in life, but also to contribute to your community and have a life that is both happy and healthy. This is all well documented, it's well known, but we felt at NAU that it was important for us to double down on this promise of higher education and make sure that the way that we broaden the participation of our student body, the way that we think about our academic programming, our student support services, and how we position students for future learning as well as careers on life would be center to everything that we did. And that's really what the new NAU charter is about, becoming that preeminent engine of upward mobility, of opportunity, of social impact, not only in Arizona, but beyond. Perfect, you know, I've heard you share that a couple of times, and that advice really resonates with me as well. My great-grandmother used to say, you know what, mija, your education is one thing that nobody can take away from you. So as you think about your role as a parent of five, um, what is some advice that you have for families of our lumberjacks who will be um, supporting their students from both near and far? Stay engaged. But before I get to that, please take a moment to celebrate yourself, your family, and your friends. Because the fact that you now have a lumberjack means that you have done everything you had to in order to shape a life trajectory that will be for the better for your students and for our communities. So celebrate that. And then make sure that you get engaged with our NAU campus community. There are a lot of events, a lot of opportunities for parents to also be part of the trajectory of this journey that your students will be taking here at NAU. And so we very much encourage you to do that. It will not only be something that you will cherish for a lifetime, having been on this journey with your child, but also that it will also ensure that your student has more opportunities to succeed. And so we hope that you will be engaged and we look forward to seeing you on campus at the various events that we have throughout the year. I love that. Great advice to celebrate the moments that you've achieved leading up to this point and then staying engaged throughout this school year, both as a student and also as family members. Now we're going to hand things over to Dr. Megan Gavin, Dean of Students here at NAU, who also has some tips for you as family members and your students as you all transition to becoming members of the Lumberjack community. Hi, I'm Megan Gavin, Dean of Students, and I have some tips for you all regarding the transition to college, which can be both exciting and challenging for students and families. For students, I encourage you to look at Office of the Dean of Students Services, including emergency assistance funds and Louis Cupboard, the food pantry here on campus. Also, we offer more than 400 clubs and organizations, which is a great way to meet other students and create a sense of belonging for yourself on campus. For parents, you might consider subscribing to the Backpack e-newsletter, which is a great way to find out about campus events and track students' milestones across the year. Also, I'd love for you to come to Family Weekend, October 7th through 9th, where we have lots of events for parents and families and students, and it's a great way to connect with the university. When you come, please come to the Office of the Dean of Students to meet our staff. Welcome to NAU, and we're excited to meet you upon your arrival. Go Jacks! Welcome back and thank you Dr. Gavin for that great advice for parents and students. And in just a few minutes we'll hear from more students about some key advice as well. But first I'm joined by Kevin Schindler who is Lowell Observatory's historian and PIO. Kevin thank you so much for joining us this well, it's evening. It's great to be here. <laughs> I always love coming to Lowell because there's always something new to see and discover. And I know Lowell's mission is really focused around research and education. And certainly, um, I know that you're strong partners with NAU. Can you talk a little bit about that partnership? Like you said, there's two components of Lowell Observatory, the research and the education. And in terms of research, um, we've had for a long time a partnership with, with the university. Um, probably most importantly is the Lowell Discovery Telescope. Um, which saw first light 10 years ago this year, and it's one of the most powerful telescopes in the world. So NAU astronomers and students are able to use this telescope for research. On the education side, um, we have a big education program of uh, staff members, and many of those are NAU students. Um, so it's a great opportunity to get experience, to get paid for it, and of course it's great for Lowell Observatory also. That's great. 
Um, so I know I moved to Flagstaff a few decades ago, and I didn't come to Lowell until about 10 years in. Ugh. And I know, I, I, and I kicked myself for that. So can you share a little bit with our incoming students and families why they need to put Lowell on their must-do list for visiting? Sure. Well, it's, you know, we think about the observatory, we're a cutting-edge research facility, and so it's a place where we can get up-to-date information about what's happening in the universe. Also, it's just a really great experience to share, to look through telescopes, to gaze at the night sky. Um, the dark skies of Flagstaff are world renowned. And to be able to share that experience, you know, students with their parents, is really special and there aren't too many places in the world where you can do this. Excellent, thank you. And I know there's some exciting things happening in, at Lowell in 2024. Can you talk to us a little bit about what's coming up? Sure, 2024 is really exciting because we're gonna be opening our new visitor facility called the Kemper and Ethel Marley Foundation Astronomy Discovery Center. It's gonna be a 40,000 square foot facility, several stories high, with a 30 foot tall theater screen inside, a rooftop planetarium that uses our dark skies. Um, that's opening in 2024, and this is gonna be one of the world premier places for doing astronomy. So exciting, and so exciting that we're right here. I mean, we are just a short distance easily bikeable. The hill's a little hard, um, but walkable from campus and, and certainly drivable as well. So students and families, make sure you put Lowell Observatory on your must-see list, whether it's, if it's not during move-in weekend, maybe family weekend or another um, time when you're up visiting. So now we have some of our current students offering some key pieces of advice for our new incoming students. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Abby. I am an exercise science major up here at NAU. And my one piece of advice for incoming students is to buy a plant. Hi, my name is Danielle. I'm double majoring in mathematics and secondary education mathematics. And my one piece of advice is to be authentic to you. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. I'm going to be a senior in the fall, majoring in social work. I think that my number one piece of advice is to get involved. NAU has lots of different clubs and opportunities to try new things, to meet new people, um, learn new things about yourself, as well as learning new things about others. Um, and it's just a great way to get involved on campus and enjoy your time at NAU. Hi, my name is Lexi. I am a rising senior here at NAU, majoring in social work with a minor in psychology. If I could give one piece of advice to incoming students, it would be to get yourself out of your comfort zone, um, whether that's just joining a random club, club activity or even just leaving your room door open to kind of experience new things, meet new people. Um, putting yourself out there the first couple months of college is really, really important. Hey everyone, my name is Nick. I'm a senior here at NAU studying hotel and restaurant management. My one piece of advice is to buy a planner. That way you can keep track of all your assignments and commitments and make sure you're staying on top of it. My name is Steven and I will be graduating this December in mechanical engineering. I can't fix your car, but I can tell you on ways to get around campus. Uh, I, for one, use the buses pretty frequently to get to my classes. Additionally, you can also rent out bikes uh, from our union, but you can also get a bike from one of our many bike shops around Flagstaff. You can also use things like skateboards, one wheels, electric bikes. There's too many things to name, but you know, there's plenty to get around campus. Great, lots of perfect tips from our students here on campus as you are getting ready to make your way to NAU. So we've been fielding quite a number of questions around this time of year, and so we're gonna jump into the question and answer session of this forecast from Flagstaff. Annika, one of the first questions that we're receiving right now is regarding financial aid disbursement. Absolutely. When does that happen? Important dates related to that. Can Great. you tell us a little more? Absolutely. Great question. So financial aid, you can look in your Louie account, students, and we've been telling you to check your email all summer, and you can set up your parent as an authorized user so they can view it too. You can see anticipated financial aid in Louie, and that aid will disperse or hit your student account on August 20th, and that'll happen on a rolling basis after that. The first tuition payment is due August 22nd, and if you're expecting a refund, be sure to set up your direct deposit, also done in Louie. So lots of things there. So disbursement, your financial aid will hit on August 20th, 
assuming you don't have any holds, a couple people I know still have final high school transcripts to get us. So I want to make sure you do all of those things in Louis. So log in now or when we're done and check to see if there's any holds or to-do items and get those done and then you'll be ready to go. Other important dates to be sure to know is um, we're going to be talking a little bit about moving in those dates, but all the important dates are on our registrar's website. So nau.edu slash registrar. An important note, a lot of parents may be thinking, okay, when is my student going to be coming back for the winter break? So finals week happens the week of December 12th with commencements um, on the 16th, which is a Friday. So that whole week is finals week. And your students will learn when their finals are on their first day of class when they receive that syllabus from their professors. So important dates, nau.edu slash registrar, financial aid disperses August 20th. Yes, yeah, and certainly if you have received, as a part of your financial aid package, federal work study, another question that we've received is how do I tap into those funds that I've received? And one of the best things that you have to do, actually, in order to qualify for those funds is to find a job on campus. And so you might have joined us earlier in July with a virtual part-time job fair. When you arrive to campus, we will have a part-time job fair as a part of our Welcome Week activities on August 26th. Um, so that's a really great way for you to learn about on-campus employment, potentially working here at, Powell, at uh, Lowell Observatory yeah. as well, um, but making sure that you are paying attention to those dates, checking out those fairs, um, all good things that you can do to prepare for your time here at NAU. Great point. And our offices on campus simply wouldn't run without our amazing student teams. And so, and you also don't have to wait for that college, that, that part-time job fair. Um, a lot of offices have started posting on Handshake, which you already have an account for, it's your Louis login. Um, so you can um, start checking out jobs um, today that are out there. Perfect. Annika, another question that we've received is in regards to parking on campus. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so always get um, parking questions at this time of year. And the parking permits did um, open last week for sale back on August 1st. So you can purchase a parking ticket, a parking ticket. To not get a parking ticket, you want to purchase a permit. Yeah. But as you heard in the student advice, you don't need to bring a car. In fact, a lot of first-year students choose not to and really utilize our bus system, campus bus system, city bus system, which also goes through campus, our free bike program, maybe bring their own bike, or have, like me, I ride my scooter up and down campus, um, just because it's super efficient. I get there often much quicker. But if you do want a parking permit, you want to go to nau.edu slash parking. And again, using that Louis login students, you can navigate to um, the area where your residence hall is to pick the appropriate permit for you. Nice. Now we've also been getting questions, and especially as you're thinking about getting around our campus community, in regards to campus safety. Um, so as a third generation Flagstaff local, a two-time NAU alumna, I know that I have always felt safe while walking around our campus community. Um, we have a number of the security measures in place, including our very own police department that has jurisdiction on our campus community. Um, we've got a blue light system where you can press a button as you're walking around um, and be connected with their their dispatch, their response time is anywhere from 90 um, to three minutes, 90, rather, 90 seconds <laughs> to three minutes. Um, and so that can be a good way to get a hold of folks. Um, lastly, I always recommend that students and families alike download the NAU Safe app. Um, you can send your location using that Safe app to folks um, who are also on the app. You get all kinds of text message alerts anytime there's something occurring on campus. Um, but certainly campus safety is top of mind for our students. Um, for our parents as well as we're thinking about how we develop that campus community. Now, getting ready for move-in, being here at NAU. Um, Annika, tell us a little bit more about those dates, the move-in process. Right. 
The move-in process is really very seamless and, and excellent. And, and I've been on a few different campuses and our campus living team um, is amazing at what they do. Move-in, all things move-in can be found at nau.edu slash move-in. So if you have questions about how do I schedule my move-in appointment um, or what day am I able to move in, it's all available there. But our big move-in day will be Thursday, August 25th. If you're in honors, you can move in early, the day before on the 24th. Our international students arrive a little bit um, before then. There's a couple other special groups. And if it works out best in your schedule and you do want to move in before the 25th, there is a small early move-in fee to consider. Um, but otherwise, students schedule for anywhere from the 25th, which is a Thursday, all the way through Sunday, whatever works best in your schedule. And you will, students, again, pay attention to that NAU email, and you, if you haven't already, will be receiving a select your move-in time appointment. Those are 40-minute appointments to really just unload the car close to your residence hall and then go park elsewhere for longer term and then move everything into your room. So 40 minutes, you're like, how am I going to, it's going to take me longer to pack than 40 minutes. It, it always works. Trust, trust me. There's big bins. You're going to have volunteers. Danny and myself will be out there helping students load their things into bins to get them up to the room. And then you can spend your time setting up your space. And, and move in time is such an awesome time. So if you see one of us out there, stop us. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask. There'll be plenty of team members throughout campus really um, there to help in any way possible. So nau.edu slash move in. So those were a number of the questions that we received um, leading up to tonight's forecast from Flagstaff. But certainly, if you have additional questions, as Annika has mentioned, reach out to our team admissions at nau.edu. We want to make sure that you have all that you need to feel good about the move-in process um, as you're getting ready to make your way to campus. We can't wait to see you here. And we want to give a quick thank you to Lowell Observatory for hosting us this evening. Um, it's been such a pleasure to be here um, and yeah Annika how do yeah. we do this ending is it I know. go, go Jacks. Jacks.